Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're carrying on our Scarbrand campaign with Rugwari uh, Hithrithin. Uh, I assume this guy is Welsh. Let's consume all corn demons are Welsh. I think that's, that's probably, probably for the best, right? Yeah. I, Welsh need some representation. And yeah, there's wood elves, but they don't count, because I forgot about them. But anyway, uh, let's fight this battle. Alright, so, uh, this I don't think will be that difficult. The the game is lying to us again. I mean, we've got a Bloodthirster, which they have no answers for. Uh, we've got a bunch of anti-infantry. I know they do too, but they also have a bunch of Chaos Warriors that will just get, you know, slaughtered to bits. So, you know, I think we're good, basically. Actually, I want you way on that side. And... Yeah, I'm going to keep these more densely packed. You lot are going to help with them. And we're good to go. Ah, perfect. Okay, so they got some doggos over there. Not as good as our doggos, though. Now let's go scout them out. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Like, move, dude. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah, see, that's more like it. See, he's, he's, he's making it up to us. He's making it up to us. Okay. I want to make sure we can get on top of those doggos. And, yeah, we'll just keep shooting them. That's fine. Uh, you lot can charge in. And we can go for their lord. Yeah, throw some units in over there. Alright, now we can chase them down. Perfect. Unlucky, guys. And, yeah, Chaos Warriors of Corn. Gonna get ruined. Love it. Love to see it. And their lord is already struggling. Excellent. Unfortunately, um, just tickling... Just tickling the skull cannons tends to put them in a real mood. You know, they start spinning around. Get out of my way. I ain't feeling it. You're looking like that. What? What's that, Kylie? How did you get in here? I know. It sounded exactly like Kylie Minogue, didn't it? So let's let's buff them. I know they'll be dead soon, but I don't care. All right, come on, guys. Uh, really shoot all the way over there, huh? Into our own men. That's pretty funny. Ooh. Now I do wonder if we lose our lord. Will that mean we can't close the rift? Because I actually have no idea. I actually have no idea. Oh, they're gone. They got 50 kills, though. Uh, yeah, they're nearly gone. Uh, you guys need to just get the heck out of there, honestly. Yeah, just keep running. It's fine. They're crumbling. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, we're probably... Yeah, I think we might be in trouble. Yeah, I have no idea. Will we be able to take the rift or not? By take it, I mean destroy it. We'll be able to do that if we lose this army, if we lose this unit. I, I really have no idea. I don't know if it'll work like a settlement or not. But hey, decisive victory. Now we just have to see if it sticks, I guess. Alright. Well, we survived, so we're good. We're good. It's all good, guys. It's all good. Uh, I'm going to replenish because I forget where the heck we are. Oh, that's it. We're up in the north. Okay, yeah, I remember. And we did get rid of it. Good. I thought that was us walking away, but it was actually the enemy. That's pretty funny. Uh, do I want to run over this way? You guys have moved this turn, haven't you? You sure have. Well, we've got a bit of extra cash. We can upgrade Black Gulch. That's nice to see. Um, not sure where to put this guy now, though. Although I am seeing some Skaven corruption there. Which does make me wonder about Winterpire. So I'm going to go check that out. It could just be Pelpit being nearby. I imagine that's probably it. Um, I also kind of want to get rid of this guy. Um, well, I'm not commanding you, Maze. I would quite like to destroy that as well. Let's try and get that. It's going to be a Nurgle army, which means our Skull Cannon can probably do some good work. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, Alright, Zoyshank. Let's get you... Trophy racks. And then the Terra Reavers. Mm, I don't know, actually. Do you want them to go to Selsenmund? Yeah. Maybe? I mean, it doesn't really matter, honestly. 
Yeah, I don't think it matters much. Although, a lot of Furies in this one that aren't particularly great. But I think we do want to burn down Laurelorn Forest while we're here. You know? Because, I mean, it's, it's right there. It's right there. And we can reach it, so we're going to try. We're going to try and burn down the Laurelorn. Yeah, you, you stay where you are. Uh, yes, I know the enemy was killed in battle. I was there. I was there, game. I was there. See, we'll see if we can't burn this down. That'd be amazing if we could, just with some blood host. But it will mean that this guy needs to go to Selsenment. And hopefully they'll be able to hold it. We'll see. Now, how's this going to go? Oh my god, Pyrrhic victory. From an auto-resolve. Um, I kind of feel like we should fight it, though. Because this will be the end of this faction. Uh, yeah, none of this is particularly well suited for dealing with their army. I say that, actually. The, the Deepwood Scouts definitely are. Deepwood Scouts would be great against things like Blood Letters. Although, 42 speed, 40 speed, we do actually outpace them, which is really impressive. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to fight it. Oh, wow. We're going to destroy Laurelorn, guys. Ooh. Wow. I love it. I love it. Haven't seen one of these maps in a long time. What a beaut. This is, uh, this is, I don't know, I, actually, I'm not sure. Is this a map I've seen before? This reminds me of the, this is a quest battle map, is what this is. This is a quest battle map. I can't remember which, um, faction it is. Is it Dreitcher? Yes, this is the uh, mission to get Coadil, I think. I'm pretty sure. It looks amazing with Warhammer 3's lighting. Really stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy to see this. Also, so cool to see like supply points in a forest. Really cool stuff. I really like they've done that. Oh, this is fun. Ooh, I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. Right, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Probably sneeze. <coughs> and then, after that, I'm not so sure. Probably line you lot up. Get our flyers tucked in at the back. And, uh, yeah, you lot in here. Which makes you want to keep these guys back a bit. Put you in the middle. You'll have some nice attack bonuses. And, oh, we actually have more of you. Wow, okay, brilliant. So let's do that. Then I'm going to get you guys somewhere. So our reinforcements are going to come from this way. So yeah, I'm happy to just load this area with everything. Oh, you're vanguarded behind there, that's fun. Um, yeah, let's do. Let's go. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Okay, go chase down those Glade Guard. Might be a terrible idea. That's all part of the fun. So yeah, we're just going to smash this with everything we have. We'll try and push our way up here. And uh, these guys, I just want to sort of hassle a bit. I'm actually quite tempted to go all in on the Wild Rangers. Hmm. But yeah, we'll get the reinforcements in and we'll be able to shimmy up this side. Should work out quite well. I'd wager. You guys don't know what you're doing, do you? It's because that's just been built. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go for them. Go for the Wild Wood Rangers. They have such low armor, the Wild Wood Rangers. I think we'll be able to do some serious work just with the... Uh, just with the Furies. And it does look like it. It does look like it. Seriously, having the extra uh, melee attack due to Frenzy for being in a corn army is amazing for dealing with these light units. Very expensive light unit. Furies being that useful, being able to just tear apart a bunch of Wildwood Rangers is awesome. Really cool stuff. No, nothing there yet. Uh, oh, whoops, that's my summons. Okay, next unit, Wildwood Rangers. 
Okay, I don't know what you're doing, honestly. I'm not, I'm not sure. You're stuck, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're doing that thing again. Okay, let's up the melee attack. These guys are struggling a bit now. Ooh. Missiles coming in. So yeah, we are going to lose them. Okay, they're coming in. Slowly, but they're coming. And, I mean, we're getting in here, but again, it's very, very slow. Alright, the other Wild Rangers on the way back. That's fine, I guess. You know, I'll, I'll live. My ego can take it. So there's a treatman in here, and I really have no idea how to kill him. Probably got to use the blood crushes. I know they're anti-infantry, technically. But, I mean, what isn't, right? What isn't? Okay, you guys. Go for the war dancers, I suppose. Now, you are struggling a lot, which I'm not happy about. Oh my god, really? Why would you go that way? That... But look at the path fighting here. He wants to go the entire way around. Unbelievable. No, no! What? Okay, he's getting there, maybe. He's maybe getting there. Jesus. Right. Now this is marvellous. I love that we can spawn blood letters. It really is fantastic. Ooh, Hawk Riders coming in. Schmancy. And I guess I'll just leave them there. I think they're doing the job. It's really hard to say. But these guys do seem a bit miffed, which I think is... Yeah, now you guys are going the right way. But yeah, they seem a bit miffed, which I think is enough for us. I think that's, that's all we really were hoping for. Um... Alright, we got you out here. Go for the Spell Weaver. You lot, keep piling in, please. We'll buff all their attacks. We are slowly getting through that treatment. Cannons are definitely help. Ing. That's not good. They're definitely a help. Is what I was trying to say. But then I didn't. Alright. Go mess them up. And we do have more Furies that I'm going to send back here. How have you been doing? Looks like we've been killing a lot of the Deepwood Scouts, which is great. Yeah, 80 kills on that summoned unit. And it kept him busy for a long time. Sadly, we didn't break any, so we're still going to have to deal with them. Uh, this looks good, though. And Treatment. Nope, Treatment's still going. Treatment's still going. And where on earth? Oh, you guys ran out of ammo. Yeah, that happens. Skull cannons. Silly. You silly billies. And, yeah, looks like we're killing that spell weaver. It's taking a little while, though. She's trying to float away. Well, I too can float, Missy. Cheeky little sod. Right, so we are working our way up. Slowly but surely. Slow and steady wins the race. That's Korn's mantra right there. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, right, you lot. Get stuck in. Actually, attack this lot. You better bog down a lot of them. And they are really doing all the damage right now. Okay, keep going. Go kill them, please. In melee. Just, just zip in. Okay, that should do it. Alright, we're getting there. And how are things going up here? Not bad, not bad. Looks like we're going to take this area. Uh, amazed that they're still fighting. Yeah, they're doing alright. The elves, I mean. Our guys aren't doing so well. Alright, let's buff their melee attack. Alright, we're making work. Come on. Oh yeah, these guys done great. Another 50 kills. Yeah, the summoned blood letters. Really doing great in their back line. Okay, got rid of that tower. That's good news. And how are you lot doing? You head up that way. Yeah, you guys are all doing well. I think it's going to be army losses in a second, you know. I don't think it'll last much longer. Oh, it's a glade captain in there. 
bunch of eternal guard. Blade Riders. Oh. Yeah, dealing with them eventually. Oh. Yeah, they're going to have to run for it. Uh, okay. Marvelous. This is cool as hell. Love it. Look at this. So good. Big fan. Big, big fan. Yeah, this is awesome. God, I could just live on this map. This is the rest of the campaign now, guys. Alright, this is the rest of the series. Hope you enjoy it. I mean, you will. Look at it. Look at it. It's so cool. Look at these. So glowy. I like that they're actually light sources now. Because they just weren't in Warhammer uh, 2. They were just, you know, sort of painted to look glowy. So I like these little touches that they've added in Warhammer 3. Like, they've just made a lot of improvements to the lighting. Not just the lighting in general, but like also light sources that just feel more like light sources, which I really like. It's very cool. Anyway, enough about calling this thing very cool. Although, it is very cool. Well, alright. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the damage we took. And I think we may actually take this. Although it is, uh, what, well, terrible. It's uninhabitable. I think it might be worth keeping. I think it might be worth it. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to I'm gonna get a blood host. I'm going to get a blood host, anyway. Okay. So I'm going to get these bone eaters to go take that. And, uh, yeah, these two armies can carry on marching. So this one, they got pretty injured. That can take Lord and Forest. So there we go. Done. And uh, faction has been destroyed. Lorlorn is gone. So this actually works out quite well. So this is something we can never do with Scarbrand. We can never have Scarbrand create a blood host and then occupy a place. I mean, technically we can, but I always want him to carry on marching. Uh, whereas in this case, because you get extra movement after you raid the settlement, you can create a blood host and then run back and occupy it. Which is sort of cheating, but um, that's just, you know, that's this faction, isn't it? Why the heck not? So, Lorlorn has been destroyed, which, yes, does mean that they've all died. Yeah, I, I figured. Province secured. The Witch's Wood. Cool. Very happy with that. I mean, it's a minor settlement. It was always going to be. So, Corn Corruption. That's not going to make him very happy. There's also this that we need to deal with, ideally. Which, um, I may have to deal with that rift. And this one, honestly. And, yeah, I want you to go over there. You, you can't reach, really. Wow, you did not have much movement. Oh, hang on. Wait, no, I was moving them before, wasn't I? And then I moved them, and so he stopped moving. I think. Maybe that's what happened. So, you need an upgrade. Erengrad is still looking pretty good. Bone Eater's on their way. You guys have moved already. Uh, Tower of Crack, we're going to have to upgrade. Do that a number of ways. All right, there we go. And now I am going to travel all the way up. No, all the way over here. Lovely. Now, where is Scarbrand? Here he is. Found him. I found him, guys. I found what is this? Why does he think he's running over there? What's your deal, Scarbrand? Go attack this guy. Hello, Kairos. It's time. Hello. Hi there. Oh, Oracles of Siege. Did the Oracle see this coming? I mean, probably, to be honest. That's, that's kind of their thing, but um, doesn't mean they were able to get prepared for it. Let's do it. Alright. Uh, ridiculous formation. One thing that I think is a bit sad is uh, that this game introduce the concept of remembering your previous formation. But it's it's got that new behaviour in a game where every single deployment zone is so radically different because they also added map variety. So um, it remembering your previous battle's formation isn't usually all that helpful. Um, I mean, it is sometimes, and so even if it's only one in ten battles, it goes, here's your formation, dear. Then yeah, then great, but um, it is a shame that you can't really maximise the effectiveness of that, because unfortunately, they went and made the game better in other ways. Oh, I know. It's a tough world we live in. Alright, you go mess up them. Oh, dear. 
And, uh, yeah, view over this way. Looks like they haven't built any barricades. Yet. So that's good news. But I guess that means they built towers instead, which is, you know, kind of annoying. But it's okay, because we kill so quickly, it's not going to make any difference. Huzzah! Oh, wait, are you shooting that one or that? I don't know, you're just going to keep running, are you? Well, that wasn't helpful. Do you want to... Nope. Okay. Okay, how about... No. You can't, I can't even click you. It's because there's a blue horror sat under you. That's fine. Jesus. Look, just attack the things, please. Look, do the thing. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's summon some guys over there. Let's stop them moving, just because I can, I suppose. Let's uh, use Gate of Corn over here as well. Okay, good. Ah, uh, you lot doing? Oh, yeah, you guys are crushing it. Okay. Looking good. Not for our doggos, though. Not for our doggos. It's looking less good for them. It's okay, we can get others. And here they come. Here come the blood letters. And our bloodthirster. Go, go fight him, and you guys recharge that lot. Uh, doggos need to get out of there. Uh, to keep summoning things. Uh, you lot can run this way. Yeah, their lord is getting attacked just by a summoned unit. It's amazing. And you lot, looking good. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Oh, okay. They just put up a barricade. All now dogs, which is fine, I guess. And, okay. This is looking good. I'd say we've got this in the bag. Very nice. God, I love how the skies change the whole tone of the, uh, of the battle. Of the battlefield. It's mar- uh, just look at it. It's marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. I absolutely love it. Obviously, I would love if they did go even further and change some of the, like, you know, some of the buildings dependent on uh, on corruption. So you could end up with some some buildings that are sort of, um, well, just corrupt, basically. You know, tentacles in the works. That would be amazing. But... It really is incredible just how the lighting can change the entire tone. Like, this feels very Zinchian, just from the, the light. And the fact it's full of Zinch demons, but it doesn't even really need to change anything. Just the idea that everything in here has been mutated or killed or absorbed into some, you know, horrible nightmare blob. Um, just whatever, really. It's the idea of this just being derelict and all that's left are the demons running around and the horrible foreboding skies like it still feels the part you know it doesn't it doesn't feel like this necessarily needs anything else um but yeah amazing how much of a difference just the lighting makes just change the sky box you got demons i love it it's a good design designs a victory all right got some skulls got some money got quite a lot of money actually and uh, we have a settlement. Do we want to take this one? I don't know. Do we or do we not? I don't know if Blood Peak is the capital or not. Although I guess none of them are technically a capital because we're in the Mountains of Morn. So I guess I'll just do something. Which do I want to do? Do I want another Blood Host? Or do I want to start getting some skulls? Because I do really need some more skulls. Let's get some more skulls. Cool. Um, okay. Now let's have a look. Let's get you assault units, because there's nothing else to give you. Uh, Ekugex Coraxus, let's get you hinder replenishment. I imagine that's the sort of thing he'd be keen to do. And then, okay, I can actually take the Sky Monolith without needing to jump over, you know, sort of piggyback on the, the movement of the rift, which is nice. So now we're going to attack the Sky Monolith. Okay, technically Blood Peak is the, the capital, but also kind of not really. Uh, this one I'm not going to bother fighting. We did lose our hounds, though. Well, that was a shame. 
It didn't dawn on me that we'd lose anyone because it was low casualties. Serves me right for rushing, I suppose. Uh, so this one, we are going to make a blood host. And you have some extra movement. Apparently not quite enough. But you tried, and that's what matters. So, Mr. Caraxus, at wound, that's also something I bet he'd love to do. You can tell. He loves wounding. Um, okay, I guess that'll do. I guess that'll do. Let's have a look. How many settlements do you have now? Three. Down to three already. We've taken out nearly half the settlement in a turn. That's what I like to see. Kind of wish it was a bit more than that, but beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Uh, I might also attack this. That's going to take two turns. Great, I'll just take Sky Monolith then. Okay, now I need to get over here. Uh, oh, Corson hasn't moved yet either. I have a lot of armies these days, I really do. So I do need to take out these jerks. But, I, yeah, I don't think they can actually hassle us. But they can start taking more settlements nearby. Which is a bit of a problem. I also think that maybe Corson should come down here and take Plug. So, you know, we'll take uh, Yetshic and we'll take Plug. And that should have us fairly sorted. Well, I'm not commanding you, shush. Okay, good. Uh, also, guys down here I want to move. Yeah. Uh, so we found Scrag. Scrag's over here. Can't believe he's over there, seriously. Like, I was running all the way up there. Should have summoned myself here and then fought my way down. And then I could have hit Gristle Valley, could have hit Isle Heart, could have probably found him somewhere. But nope. Nope. Okay, you are going to have to run a hell of a long way. Uh, I'm not sure this guy's even going to make it to the Scrag fight, honestly. Alright, you are going to ambush, even though that probably won't do anything. We'll try. Uh, so, what has Scrag got? Impossible to tell, though he does have a hunter. So that's something. Uh, I will also want to get rid of the Empire. I'll see if I can do it. I'll see if I can do it. With my blood host. Ooh, furs. Nice. Got a cultist camp of furs, guys. Ooh, and more money, please. And we'll get one of those. And I didn't realize that we had all the hero recruitment stuff over here. That's really fun. Good for you guys. Good for you. Uh, will cost you dearly. Finding caravans would be a lot of fun, but we have no one to fight that, which is a shame. A nice way to get some variety. Get some early victories against Cathay. Right, so I think we've moved everybody. Oh, except you, technically. We can carry on moving you. So we're going to come destroy this part of the Empire. Technically not the Empire, is the Wasteland, I know. Shush. Um, yeah, not bad. This is not like a bad at all. We, we've done more damage than I thought we would, just from just teleporting in here. But then it's Scarbrand. We always end up doing more damage than I thought we would. Having all these extra armies here means we can really just... Just get some work done. And here, like, God, summoning six armies in a single turn was, um... Yeah, that was great. Alright, let's have a look here. Let's get, uh, War Amphitheater. Marvellous. And that should do it. So we are going to lose another settlement over in the Mountains of Morn at some point. But that's okay. We got rid of the ogres that matter, so I don't really mind what happens to the rest of it. Hello, Nostraldamus. Let's uh, get a peace treaty. No, no, I'm going to wipe out your faction. Sorry, mate. I don't really have a grudge against him. It's just he's got a city where I want to have a city. So can't really, can't really be helped, guys. Uh, Spooksy is under siege again. Sorry, not again, just now. Uh, wow. Looks like, uh, looks like Zoli the Catherine is really... Really trying hard to come take this out. I think Spooksy could fight her off, though. It's just a shame she hasn't actually attacked. It'd be nice if she would actually attack. Uh, so we're gonna try and ambush here. I'm tempted to get North Jersey while I'm here, because that would actually hold um, any additional units back, which I think would be quite fun. Sons of the Mountain got destroyed, though that doesn't really matter. The Bone Eaters. And the Terror Reavers. Yeah, I think that naming mod did add more names to these guys, because I think there were only two. <laughs> so this is much better. Right, Constructor, uh, we just secured Troll County. Hell yes. 
And we just got Winter Pyre as well. Oh, this is brilliant. We just got a bunch. We just got four new settlements, guys. Four. Drawn by the scent of blood and smoke, your minions have infested the ruins at Winter Pyre, and the settlement is now yours to control. Four times. Even though it does actually change up the uh, text a little bit, which I really appreciate. I really do appreciate that. All right, you attack. <laughs> While I sneeze again. It's bloody hay fever, guys. Like, I just, ugh. I never used to get it. I never used to get hay fever. Like, you can probably tell I'm very low energy today. It's because, like, my eyes are streaming. And just, ah, oh, feel like absolute crap. And I know, antihistamines exist. I don't have any in. <laughs> so, I need to grab some at the shop later. But uh, I had to get some work done. So, here I am. Suffering for my art. And yes, it is art. Because I've made you question whether it's art or not. And that is enough to qualify something as art. It's making you ask questions, you see. I know. I know. The YBA really, really cheated the the system on that one. So anyway, uh, Ronin the Fabricator and Settlement Garrison. Really cool name that, Mr. Garrison there. Um, yeah, close victory with an auto-resolve. I'm kind of content with that. Like, that's enough for me. And I'm going to get yet another army here just to fight off anything that might be close by. And, um, yeah, because this guy's here, you see. And this will take over just in time, so it's fine. This army, though. I'm going to get rid of. Because we are absolutely skinned, so I can't have all of the armies all the time. It won't work. So I'm going to chase them up this way and that. And, and hopefully they'll just get killed. I don't know. They might just keep running forever and I'll never catch them. And um, then I'll, I'll, I'll just cry. I'll just cry in a corner. Is that what you want, Nostral Darmus? Probably is, yeah. Actually. Um, this army is unnecessary, so you can you can go away. Good. That saved us some money. It is insane how many armies we have. I'd love to know how many armies we actually have currently. Will it say if I look at my stats? And, yep, we have 14 armies currently. <laughs> That's a lot of armies. That's a lot of armies. We had 16 a second ago. Well, I love that. Love that a lot. We also have 49 settlements now. 12 provinces. That's a lot. That's a heck of a lot. In fact, let's zoom out and have a look. Yeah, look at this now. Big sway the territory there. Oh, yeah, and we were about to take Seltzerland. So let's go take that. Um, I'm going to destroy that first, though. I want to make sure that they're not going to summon a, an army the turn that I take this over, because that would be really annoying. Uh, that's fine by me. I mean, it doesn't mean that the Empire won't send somebody, but... And, yes, I did think it would probably end up killing a, you know, a turn there, but that's okay. I expected it. Uh, this one doesn't need to exist either, to be honest. We'll get rid of that one. Our income is shooting up. It's funny, that. Okay, let's have a look. Let's get the big one to close this rift. This is all earning us favor and things, so... I'm rather keen. Pyrrhic victory? Yeah, fine. I could fight it, but I'm not going to waste my time on every single battle here. You know, these guys are still going to do some good work, so. I'll struggle. I'll struggle more on the battles that I think are going to be more interesting, rather than just struggling on the battles preceding that. Sound good? Yeah, I'd say so. So, we'll put you in ambush stance. Uh, you make yourself a target. Brilliant. I mean, that's not a great army to ambush with, but honestly, if any of these did attack, um, we'd have them. It's mostly spearmen, so that ambush would would clear them out. Although, um, that means that I don't think these guys would ever bother attacking this army, even though it's injured the way it is. But that just means I'll have two armies to attack next turn, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, also, Marienburg is owned by Midland currently. I hadn't actually realised that. It's a bit silly. Right. You, I guess, keep running this way. Uh, Scrag's run off again, hasn't he? I wish he'd stop doing that. So, 70% ambush chance, huh? Oh no, Scrag's still here. He's still here. Okay, let's put everyone in ambush stance. Go nuts. Well, not him, obviously, he's too far away. But we can pretend. One of them might get spotted, but the other one hopefully won't. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to jump on top of this guy in a minute. And Gristle Valley has a garrison, which is kind of annoying. 
And uh, yeah, they got some scary stuff here. Iron Guts are very capable. In fact, let's have a look. He is uh, strength rank 16, which is surprisingly high to say that he has a single settlement. But then I guess he's also it's also ogres, so they don't really need settlements. So there is that. There is that too. Uh, yeah, you guys looking good. Uh, okay. Let's go the other side of the world and see how old Scarbrand's doing. Okay. Um, this I can't be bothered to fight, so I won't. Uh, now what do I want to do here? More skulls, I think. And he didn't move. What stops people from running away? Was it just that he had used all his movement? I have no idea. It just seems so arbitrary. Got another agent of blood. Lovely. Uh, okay, then we can attack that next turn. We can attack the last Sky Citadel, maybe. Now I'm going to go into Encamp Stance, because... I want to get another Flesh Hound. It's a shame that we have to get another Flesh Hound. At, uh, you know, such a low level. But they'll soon rank up. I mean, look at the ranks of our units. So high already. And now you... Uh, Sky... No, Blood Peak is the main one. Alright, you're going to take Sky Monolith, and we'll hope that that is enough. Though, I worry that uh, someone like Furt is going to run in here and take this, but we'll we'll see. This isn't territory that I actually need. It would just be nice to have, because I'm greedy. Um, also, it means we could technically summon another army here, use a bunch of global recruitment, and then march up this way into Cathay. You know, through the back entrance, while uh, Scalbrand keeps everyone busy at the Great Bastion. That can be fun. Although... That is a little bit on the sly side for corn. You know, we're a lot more direct than that. Which is why we're going into the most difficult um, spot to attack. Why? Because it'll be more fun. It'll be a, a nice victory we'll earn and impress daddy. Impress daddy corn. The corn daddy. So let's have a look at uh, Kislev. Let's upgrade you too. Good. And we have some income now. It really is pathetic, but we have some income. And we'll see if we can get rid of that. We might not be able to. I am a little concerned. Oh, my word. Yeah, we just took over a bunch of new territory. I need to make sure we can actually afford all of that. So, um, stop all of that, please. Thank you. Right. Let's upgrade this stuff. Because what's going to happen is a demon's going to come out of that portal in a second and just ruin everyone's day. And Winterpire and Shock and... Jesus, we have all the things. All the things, guys. All the things. There you go, make sure Kraken Track's safe. God, we're doing great. Really making progress. God, love to see it. Love to see it. It won't be long before we get the rest of uh, of Kislev as well. Except there's one little spot where, where Help It live. But other than that, all of this will be ours. Unless Help It takes some other stuff over. But apart from that, all of this. It's going to be great. We should probably take this stuff out as well, just because these goblins took territory that's rightfully ours. You know, we, we won it in combat. I mean, they did too, but I don't respect them. So, there's that. So anyway, uh, oh god, what do we do now? There's so many things. I can't keep track of all the things that we're doing. Have we done all the things? I think we've done all the things. There's a commandment available. Hell yeah. Uh, corn corruption, please. Alright, moving on. Ambush foiled. Uh, mission successful. We finally got a settlement of tier 5. We could have done that way earlier. But it's not really mattered, has it? But, oh well. Your mightiest fortresses may become great engines of war. The home bases of conquering armies that roam far and wide. Continue to develop your facilities at home. No. I mean, I will, but like, you know, don't tell me what to do. Uh, Mountains of Morn apparently is going to have a rebellion. Well, that's no fun, is it? It's um, it's actually this one, right? Yeah, it is. It, who cares? Like the the rebels will attack these guys. That's fine. Yeah, that's all fine. Bunch of bunch of trinkets, frankly, trinkets. Speaking of trinkets, does he have anything to do with trinkets? I'm bad at segways. Um, Kybros is right here, which is very annoying. I was hoping to slaughter everything today, and it looks like I'm not going to get the chance. Yeah, I'm going to be able to fight this. Not with this pesky little... I mean, look at that. Rubbish. 
Rubbish. So yeah, I do need um, Scarbrand to come down here. I might kill all this stuff first though, or, oh my god, that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, it's an ambush, guys, it's an ambush. I'm in the wrong stance. Hang on. I want to make sure that doesn't screw me somehow. Traverse the rift. I was so glad I didn't close this. Now travel to here. Now, annoyingly, I'm going to have to close this one. Oh my god, it's so hard to click because he stood on it. There we go. So close this rift. Pyrrhic victory? Oh my god, because Kairos is actually joining in in the battle to close this rift. That is very cool. That I can drag him into this fight that way. Oh, that is so fun. Okay, brilliant. We'll get to kill Kairos. Um, I love being able to transport through the rifts like this. Also, I love sneezing, apparently. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know what? I think this will be the only um, episode I record today, because otherwise I'm just gonna I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna die of hay can you die of hay fever? I think I'm gonna die of hay fever. Guys, anyway, um, if you enjoyed this, come in, like, subscribe, and send me all your pity. And then uh, yeah, I'll come back from the dead from my death of hay fever uh, next episode and we'll kill Kairos. It'd be great. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.